uh, today is going to be kind of like our last full day here in Boca Raton. We're flying out tomorrow. Um, so today we're going to go check out a really cute um, coffee shop in kind of like the downtown area. Um, and I don't know, just kind of explore outside of the resort. And then um, we want to hit up a Japanese Japanese garden, uh, which is a little bit further from uh, up north. Um, so we're gonna go check that out. So we have a full day packed today, and so I'll be taking you along with me. And this is my outfit of the day. Here's my full outfit. So every morning on this uh, floor, I don't even know what floor that is, but uh, the end floor, they have a uh, breakfast and coffee for the guests, complimentary. So I'm going to go check that out. outside the resort to check out Pixie Cafe. It's a really cute Instagram worthy coffee shop. They had some pretty unique drinks like the mermaid latte and this Dalgona matcha latte which is a matcha latte with whipped coffee cream on top. Next we headed to Morikame Museum and Japanese Gardens in Delray Beach which was about 25 minutes from Boca Raton. Admission for adults is $15. It is a huge garden so make sure you have your walking shoes on when you come visit. They have a cute gift shop, Japanese tea ceremony demonstrations with advanced reservations, and a cafe to grab food and snacks. like this crane and fish and lots of iguanas and lizards but there were also caution signs to beware of alligators. This garden was enormous however I felt like it lacked a lot of Japanese essential elements. In a Japanese garden there are four essential elements rocks, water, plants, and ornament and five garden design principles asymmetry, enclosure, borrowed scenery, balance, and symbolism. In my opinion, this garden lacked the intricacies of true Japanese gardens and needed more of the elements of garden design principles.
decided to grab some food at the museum cafe. We both got their bento box lunch, which was really delicious. After lunch, we walked around some more and explored more of the garden until we couldn't stand the heat anymore. shelter at a cute boba shop called Snow Bunny. We needed our boba fix, but unfortunately the boba here was just okay. I think we just have too high of a standard for boba coming from SoCal. For dinner, we are back at the resort and a vendor from the conference took my husband and I for dinner at the Marisol restaurant at the beach club. It is an outdoor restaurant with a killer ocean view. We got a seafood tower and it was amazing. All the seafood were fresh and prepared perfectly. For our entree, I got a lobster pasta and my husband got the bone-in ribeye. Everything here was delicious. And that wraps up our memorable vacation in Boca Raton. I hope you enjoyed this trip as much as I did. Thanks for watching.